Hey what's up guys Manash here. Today I bring you guys a brand new video. In this video I am going to unbox and review a budget killer gamepad which is Gameset T1S. So let's begin with the question what is present inside the box. Boom! Out of the box you will get gamepad itself, a normal USB charging cable and a user manual. This leaflet will guide you all about this gamepad so don't throw it out. USB charging cable looks cheap, I mean it's not that bad but I recommend you to buy a good one from market or else you can use your smartphone's charger. There is also a USB connector for PC inside this gamepad, we'll talk about it later on. Talking about the design of this gamepad, it's a bit mashup between an Xbox One controller and a PS4 controller. Layout is similar to that of a PS4 but the button labeling and style will remind you of a Xbox One controller. And yeah, this uh, buttons looks great especially in dark as they do light up. Coming to the build quality, buttons and triggers labeling on the gamepad is good enough to play games and I guess you will not get disappointed while playing games. This gamepad has two motors installed in the palm rest allowing it to vibrate aggressively when connected to any compatible device. On the top you will get R1, R2, L1, L2 and a home button, a USB charging port is also available and in back there you will get a reset hole which you can use to get back the default settings. You can connect this gamepad with almost anything you have. As it itself says it is a all-in-one gaming controller. They provided an integrated smartphone holder in center which supports phone from 3.5 to 6 inches at two separate angles which is nice. Pairing this with your smartphone is easy, all you need to do is hold both home and A button together. It's easy to remember as A stands for Android. As you can see here, green LED started blinking. Now open your smartphone's Bluetooth and pair it with the device name. Basically it shows GameSet T1S. My gaming experience with this gamepad is awesome and I will give it 10 out of 10. And if you want to know which game this gamepad supports, you can check out the description. I played with this gamepad continuously for 3 to 4 hours. I have still got battery remaining which is great. You can use this USB adapter which is present inside the gamepad to connect it with your PC to play games. So is it worth it? Definitely this is worth it. So if you want to buy one for yourself, link is given in the description below. Hope this review was helpful. Give a big thumbs up to this video. Subscribe this channel to be a part of Big Tech TV team and I will catch you guys in the next one.